Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my uh, second let's play of the Harry Potter Marathon, and also my, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> but yes, this is um, following on from my let's play of Harry Potter and Frost for Stone on PlayStation, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, because one, you should have already guessed by the title, and two, we've got the title screen coming up. That whatever, I'll, I'll just say it. Uh, this is H Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for the PlayStation. And uh, this is the game, the Harry Potter game, that I grew up with. And th so, because of that, this Let's Play is going to be very nostalgic. And, well, it's, it's basically just going to be awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I played this when I was like five years old, six years old. And I'm playing it ten years later. It's still awesome. But yeah. So. Um, whenever we're ready. Here we are. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Yep. As you can see. The title screen is obviously different from the Philosopher's Stone one and the music is different because obviously it's a different game they had to have a different theme but anyway enough of pointing out the obvious let's check the options make sure everything's all hunky dory vibration on yes um, find control <coughs> reverse um, yeah everything seems to be alright All right then, let's start the game. But yeah, I really can't wait to get this started. I mean, once again, I grew up playing this game and I loved it. So, again, it should be nostalgic, it should be awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. But yes. So, a lot of people are probably saying that um why is this game nostalgic to you and not Philosopher's Stone? Well, simply because I never played the Philosopher's Stone game. But yeah, anyway, so the loading screen has obviously changed. And we're going to sit back and enjoy a new story time section with a new narrator, Stephen Fry. Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. Along with his friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. But now Harry was back at number four, Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter, a plot to make most terrible things happen. Dobby disappeared. Dobby disappeared. And shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent as someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? Draco Malfoy. Eventually, they landed at Ron's house, the burrow. Touchdown! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. 
Beds empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Ronald Weasley! I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Come on, Harry. Let's go. Come on, Harry. Let's go. And they did. But yeah, so this is probably still my favourite Harry Potter game to date. For reasons that I've already mentioned. But yeah, so we're going to start getting into the gameplay here. And as you can see, graphics-wise, nothing has changed from the Philosopher's Stone. Nope, they didn't bother to improve a single thing. Still the same old graphics. But, uh, yeah. And unlike most of my games, this is the copy that I'm using of this game is still the game that I had when, like 10 years ago. It's still working after 10 years, that's pretty impressive if you ask me, especially for a PlayStation game. Come on, Harry. If the ghoul is locked the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. Ah, okay. And our one's working straight away in this game, unlike Philosopher's Stone. I see Dad has placed some crates in the garden. Why don't we use them to climb up onto the roof and then into the open? What a bright floor. idea! I would have never thought of that. Stuck at the Dursleys for so long. You can practice your knockback jinx on the crates. Remember, you need to press the X button. And yep, as you can see right there, they corrected themselves in this game. No, they didn't call it the cross button. Like, hang, hang on, sorry. Um, control settings, analog mode. Sorry there. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, so basically, as you can see, in this game, unlike the first game, they corrected themselves and said the X button instead of the cross button, which is what it's actually called, that's awesome. Try and flipend over these crates with your knockback jinx. Remember, press the X button to cast. Right, so yeah. Sorry about um, the constant nose-blowing people, I just got a um, bit of a runny nose. Well, I've that's got hay fever, that's what I'm doing. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Oh dear, Mum's really not happy, and I think we should avoid no that. shit, Sherlock. But let's climb up onto the roof and jump in through the attic window. Watch me and then follow. To climb onto a crate, walk up to it and use it. Oh, up open the left analog stick. But yeah. Okay, your turn, Harry. Push into the small crate to climb on top, and then run over the gap to auto. Yeah, jump. this is basically a recap of the controls in case you haven't played the first game, which, when I was younger, in my case, was obviously a big help because I hadn't played the first game at the time. But uh, yes, so we're in now. And yeah, this this is pretty annoying. It auto saves, but which I would do, usually don't have a problem with. But every flipping single time you go into a new section, right. the saving screen pops the up. He's banging and dropping pipes, and it's driving my mad. Use your directional button. All left analog stick. Try and catch sixty pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible racket. I just love right, Harry, Let's get to it. All right, so basically what we have to do here is we have to catch sixty pipes within a, a, a lot of time given. Um, it's pretty easy. Just move your chest left and right to catch certain pipes. Like if it's to the left, move to the left. If it's in the middle, just don't move at all. If it's to the right, obviously move to the right. But yeah, so yeah, like I said before, it is really pretty easy. You don't really need to worry about anything, except the timing. I mean, I remember when I first played this game, this took me a few attempts at my first try. No idea why, maybe because I was just stupid back then. 
Oh, fuck. There we are, that's more like it. And there we are! Nice work, Harry! That'll shut him up for a while. Thanks for uh, it's no problem. Ah, oh, that's much quieter. Now I need you boys to denome the garden for me. Go find Mr. Weasley. He's by the shed messing about with non-magical junk. Alright then. Right here. Yep. So basically we've just gotta go and find Arthur now, Arthur Weasley. Not a problem. <laughs> yeah, sorry, not really got much to say here, guys. Uh, right. Let's go because, find well, it's morning. Got up not so long ago. Still a bit tired. I think I've only been up. I've only been up like an hour, so give me a chance, guys. But yeah. So we're gonna go through this gate. Just junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged knockback jinx. So we can Okay, get the so fully charged knockback jinx. Same as the first game. Hold down the X button, release. And yet again, Harry sounds much more mature in this game. So yeah. And as you can see here, we have the return of the Bertie Bots every flavor beans. But no, but they are not like different colours. Oh no. The way they work in this game, they can be used as currency. Um, th there's five famous and witches and wizards cards which you can buy from Fred and George, which we need to use beans nice for. So, yeah. Harry. Come on, let's go and find Dad. But yeah, so unlike the my let's play of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on PS One. This is going to be a 100% let's play. I'm going to be getting all the cards. And I'm going to be getting a special hidden item that we need 500 beans for. And I'm basically going to be going to all hey the secret look. areas and everything. She's so, over by the yeah. Buffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. I'm off to see what okay. Dad's up to. See you later, mate. Alright, deal then. Hello, Harry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ginny. I'm just looking after a pass game. I'm making sure that Fred and George don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch. Guide the puffs game over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing every okay. favourite beans you can collect. Beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards. Which is basically what I explained Hogwarts. earlier. If you guide the puffs game over to the bushes, it'll eat them. And you may be able to find a famous witches and wizards card. Whenever you get a wizard card, it is put into your folio. In case you didn't know that already. Press the select in the first button. game. This will show you the folio magi and the wizard cards you've collected at that point. There are two types of famous witches and wizards cards: the silver cards and the four special gold founder cards. Cool story, bro. But yeah, so basically, yeah, you remember the puffs game from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? It's back in this game, only it makes your controller vibrate. And also, not only that, it, it can produce beans like it could in the first game. And this is the only appearance that it ever makes. Well, it, it makes a cameo appearance later on, but we don't actually use it. So, yeah. I say cameo appearance. It makes an appearance in a cutscene later on, but we don't actually use the Puffs game for anything. So, yeah. If you ever want to shrink the puff skein to make it cute again. Nintendo. Yeah, just for Pendo it. Nintendo. Although there's no point in doing it really, because it's gonna get fat again here. And unlike the um first game, you can actually go through the bushes without getting hurt, so yeah. Well done, Harry! Here's a 
famous witches and wizards card. Yeah, if you just go in for the wizard cards, you only have to do a certain amount of those. But since we're aiming for 500 game beans in this game, I almost said games in this bean. Yeah, beans in this game. We're gonna get as many beans as we can. But, uh, yeah, so uh, that's basically what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna get all the remaining beans that we can because we're gonna need them, obviously, for later. And then after that, we're just gonna move on. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, yes. Sorry again, not much else to say really. Which, uh, you know what, I should be having a lot to say because... In fact, you know what? I'll... In fact, you know what, I think I might, um... I might just give a little, little story about this game, right? Like, my journey to completing it. Basically, when I was a kid, I played, I always played up to the herbology classrooms because I was, for whatever reason, when I was a kid, I was scared of the uh, Mandrake's cry. Not in the film, but in the game. Just like I was scared of the pigs in the PC game. Hello, Harry. I'm this. Arthur Weasley. I was wondering but yeah, so we're going to use a Wingardium Leviosa spell here. But, you'll need the but yeah, anyway, the going back to the story before. I seem to have lost them under all this mean, junk. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Use your Wingardium so spell basically, I never completed the game until much later because it took me, you know, a few years to un come up, overcome my fear of the... The um, Mandrake's cry, the so, yeah. And break the junk up. Could you charm them and drop them onto the rocks, please? Maybe we can find those gloves. I know I left them around here All somewhere. right, then. Talk to Ronnie. Remember, Harry, it's just like the charms class last year. Better find the denoming gloves. We can't denome without them. Lift up the crates and then... Basically, the it doesn't matter which order you We've do this in. The denoming gloves are always going to be in the last crate slash TV you destroy. So yeah. That's right, Harry. Keep going. Wingardium Leviosa. And also, this game has probably one of the best scores I've heard in movie licensed games. That's so, right, Harry. Yeah. Keep going. Wingardium I don't know why. For whatever reason. Maybe it's because it's nostalgic, but the music, I always love the music in this game. Well done, Harry. Nice work. You found the denoming gloves. Here they are. All right, till then, the denoming gloves have been collected. Thanks for helping Dad out, Harry. You've also learned how to charm objects. I'm sure that no will shit, come in very handy. The sooner we deny the garden, the sooner we can get some sleep. I'm exhausted. All right then. So I believe we're going to do the denoming and then leave it here for part one. But yeah. So, yeah, I think we'll probably stop recording for a bit after part one of this. So, yeah. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Okay. Time to put these denoming gloves to good use. Mum wants us to throw these gnomes over the fence and into that field of right, magical then. junk. To fling a gnome, you're going to need a good run up. Oh Hit god. I remember when I was a kid, I Once could not do the this for the life of me. On the spot. Press the triangle button when you're ready to throw the gnome. You get points for distance and for hitting the Okay. We're, we're, we're probably going to uh see some raging here because when I was a kid I could not do this basically for the life of me. Press the triangle button to throw. Yep. 
and uh, to believe, and I'm unsure how many points you need, because you know, you do need us to, you need, you do need a certain amount of points here to get a famous witches and wizards cards, wizards card, but I'm not sure how many. But I believe you need to hit every target. So yeah. And we're getting lag. Don't know why, we're just getting lag. Yeah, I believe we need to hit every target. Either that or every target bar one. So, yeah. And what is wrong? We're getting lag. Uh, yeah, okay, it's fine now. Okay. Straight forward. Come on, hit the post box. Hit the post box. Sorry, phone box. There we are. <laughs> okay. We're still getting lagged in the way. Yeah, I'm sorry. We may have to put up with this for the rest of the part. I'll tell you what, if we fail at this. I'll just send things off or something, I don't know. But yeah, got a real low distance here to hit the car. Oh, what the, what the, what? <laughs> eh? <sighs> okay, I don't think I'm going to get this. Right, a bit further to the left. There we are. Okay, I think that'll be better. Yup, we got it. <laughs> Hopefully we've got enough points for a famous witch is a wizard's card here because if we don't, I'm gonna be ticked. Excellent Harry! That's your all time highest score. Yep, really we fun. need to hit every target. And we get five goals, and there's four targets, so we can only miss one, really. So, uh, yeah. Yep, I might have only just hit this. Yep. Okay, we've got it. <laughs> Never mind. I have my doubts about that one, but. No need to worry. I, yeah, I believe we need to hit every target in order to get the famous Witches and Wizards card here, so... Yeah. We need to hit every single target. Which can be a pain, obviously. And the worst part is we have to do this again later. I mean, don't get me wrong, denoting is fun, but... It can be frustrating. Okay, that's the one... Okay, we can't miss any after this. If we miss any after this, we're screwed! Yeah, I pretty much knew we weren't going to get that one because that was... I pretty much knew that was a too long distance. And I don't think we're going to get this one either. Yep. Okay, we're screwed. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to... Yeah, I, I, most of the time, I, I, I'm, I'm going to confess, I do have a lot of trouble with this. So, yeah. Right. The pond. You know what? I might as well do this. Okay, you know what? If, if after, the, after this next time, I don't get anything, I'm going to do this off screen. So, yeah. Because I think I pretty much know I'm going to be boring you guys if I continue this on screen. So, if I don't do this now, I'm going to... Do it off screen. Okay, you know what? Beehive! Beehive, beehive, beehive! Feck! <laughs> I think the beehive is probably the hardest to hit. You are a gnome throwing marvel. That was really good fun. Right. Do you want to play? Okay. Again? But you know what? I would be lying if I didn't. If I said no. Gnome throwing wasn't fun, you know. 
And, you know... Okay, okay. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> That's the one we can't... Okay, we can't miss any more now. We've had our chance. There we are. You always go for the car and the pond because they're the easiest to hit. Okay, whenever you rack your points up. Pond hit! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yup, we got the pond. Good shot! You hit the pond! No shit! <laughs> but yeah, right. Okay. Uh, right, I believe we do need quite a bit of distance for the post box. For the telephone. For the phone box, sorry. Not post box. Keep saying post box, I don't know why. Oh, no, 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 no! Crap, we missed it! <laughs> we freaking missed it! That is just excellent, is it not? Answer is wrong. Man, we were so close to hitting the phone box there. Come on, give us a chance. Brilliant. No, no, Ron, not brilliant. That was really good fun. All right, you know, I'm going to end things off here and, you know, yeah, I'm going to end things off here and begin the next part with um, a successful attempt at the gnome throwing. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed part one of Let's Play Harry Potter and the Still, we ended up off with some fails, which I hope you enjoyed. This is Mr. Crazy Game 13 saying word out.